Stations in Elite comes in all kinds of shapes and sizes, but there are more to them than just a pretty design. The D2 Emerge store is open. There are t-shirts, sweaters, hoodies, mugs and tote bags with many cool designs. Head down to the link in the video description and get yourself your merchandise today. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. Today it's going to be all about stations, we're going to talk about the law and we're going to talk about some fun facts about them that you may or may not know. I'm mainly going to be focusing on the four types of large stations and we're going to start with the most iconic one, the Coriolis station. This is the smallest of uh, the large stations and it's also the fastest to build. These kind of stations are often being constructed in a few months. You will often see these Coriolis type stations being some of the first to be manufactured in newly colonized systems. Due to their short production time and low production cost, they are really fast and easy to get into a new system to begin to get some facilities in. And they will often function like a trade hop in the early stages of a system's colonization. The design is not new. This type of design has been around for hundreds of years. And they actually started out initially being a lot smaller, having a uh, having a radius of only one kilometer. Um, but over the years, they've slowly began to grow to the size they have today, with about two kilometers from the center of rotation to the outside of the station. The station has a rotation speed of just 90 seconds, meaning that if you live at the center of one of the sites of the station, you will be living at a 0.5 g environment. Whereas if you look out closer to one of the corners, you can get all the way up to 0.7G. So it's not the most comfortable, it's not bad, but it's not the most comfortable types of station to live in due to the relatively low gravity. And of course, if you live further into the station, closer to the docking ha uh, hangar, you will get even lower gravity values. On very rare occasions, Coriolis type stations can be fitted with these long extended arm that protrudes out from the center of the station. They can reach out to about 8 kilometers, making the containers at the end a very high G environment. And indeed, if people were to go inside these containers, they would be pulling 4 Gs. The exact purpose of these is unknown, but people are theorizing they will be used for training people to survive in high G environments. Amongst players, these have been dubbed noob hammers because new players would sometimes try to fly up to them, thinking they can dock there and they will get hit of them and get their ship destroyed because the end of the arms are traveling at over 300 meters a second so they can definitely do some damage to a unprepared ship moving on to the oscillus type stations this is a much newer design these type of stations has only been around for about 40 years originally designed by gutemaya you can easily identify these stations by having a spherical docking bay all the way at the front of the station and there will often be a habitation ring further down the back. These stations can also be fitted with engines and hyperdrives because they are designed to be moved around. This type of station was intended to be used to be moved into um, areas with maybe stellar phenomenon where you want to go in and observe something for a brief period. The station will then stay around for a month or two and then they can then move it around again. So the station is designed to be mobile um, and be a observation platform or an exploration platform and therefore the station also comes with a lot more shielding and protection from radiation than uh, other types of more stationary stations. This type of station is a lot more human friendly than the Coriolis type stations. Um, even though the rotation speed is the same, 90 seconds, um, the sphere of the docking hangar is a lot uh, larger. So if you live close to the well equator of, uh, of that sphere, you will, re you will be living in a 1.7 G environment. And if you live in the habitation ring, which is two kilometers um, in radius, then you will be actually living in a 1G environment, which of course is ideal for, for a human population. And then we have the Orbis type stations. This is by far the oldest design, and they have changed a little bit through the ages. You can easily identify this type of station by the cylindrical uh, docking bay. And often you will find one or two smaller habitation rings towards the back of the station. And sometimes on the larger ones around the main docking hangar, you will see a very large habitation rings with a radius of four kilometers. The smaller habitation rings having a radius of just um, two kilometers, of course, offers a lower gravity. The stations, though, do 
rotate a lot slower than the other ones. This will actually rotate, I believe it's 120 seconds, giving you a 1G environment if you live in the large habitation rings and a 0.5G environment if you live in the smaller habitation rings. These type of stations often has a um, smaller populations than many of the other stations, um, simply due to the fact that this type of station often offers a more luxurious um, lifestyle. And, and the majority of the population on the station is the personnel taking care of the day-to-day -day task with the richer part of the population than living out in the large habitation ring. And that takes us on to the last type of station and also the most recent addition to the, the large station designs that we have in Elite Dangerous. And that, of course, is the asteroid bases. Obviously, these are very different from anything else it's where these are built inside hollowed out asteroids. You will often find these type of stations far away from populated space out in often around the nebulas where people will find a suitable asteroid, hollow it out and then fit it with, uh, with the necessary module to function as a station. So these stations are often built in places where you want a more permanent station far away from, from uh, populated space, so it's not easy to get materials out to build either a Coriolis or maybe an Oscillus type station wasn't available to move out there. Um, but again, the Oscillus type stations are really meant to be moved around, so it's not that often you would want to move one out there permanently. So that's why people would build these, um, these asteroid bases, since it saves a lot on resources. Due to the fact that these type of stations are built in South hollowed asteroids, they don't really rotate that quickly. You will often see them rotate at around 300 seconds for a full rotation or five minutes to complete a full rotation. Um, and that means the gravity inside the stations are really, really low. You will be hard pressed to find uh, places inside those, these type of stations that has a gravity higher than 0.1 G. So it is really a microgravity environment living inside a station like this. And finally, before we end, if you scroll down below the video, you will both find the subscribe button and you will also find a link to the merch store where you can buy t-shirts, hoodies, mug, tote bags, all kinds of good stuff. Go down, check it out. But that's going to be it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to give it a like, subscribe to the channel and until next time, I will see you guys in space.